Oh yeah, so he's saying he's saying his his being direct or indirect more effective. Mm-hmm. Uh, being direct is always more effective, period. <laughs> like, like people see, a lot of times people get it confused. They think so. Some guys think that being direct doesn't work. I say being direct works all the time because if you're direct, either she's gonna go for it, which it works, or she's not gonna go for it, which it works. So yeah. you don't waste time. So what happens is, is that there's there's certain parts of being indirect that can help you as far as like, because I, I I tell guys you know that have a, a hard time like talking to girls. If you open a conversation indirect, that's cool. But you don't want to be indirect in general. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you're indirect in general, what you do is is that you waste your time. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I'm indirect with a woman, right, I may not necessarily know she's into me. And because I'm indirect, what happens is that it leaves room for her to play games. So if I'm acting like, oh, I'm not trying to hook up with you. Yeah, let's just talk. Let's just hang out. Let's just chill. Right. And I say, come over to my house. Let's just chill. So she comes over to my house, but I really want to fuck. And then she comes over and I'm trying to fuck. And she's like, but wait a second. Didn't you say we were just going to chill? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Around the bush. Right. So now because I'm indirect, it leaves her room to play games. Yep. So the more direct you are. So if I say, hey, come over to my house so we can hook up, come over to my house so we can fuck, come over to my house so we can have sex. Then what happens is if she agrees to that. She's coming over for that. And then most likely we're going to have sex. A girl could always change her mind. But in most cases, she's coming over knowing this right. is what I want to yeah, do. You already got the, right. the point across. Exactly. Your, your intentions. Right. right. So the problem is a lot of guys think that being direct leaves a lot of pussy on the table but it doesn't because what happens is, is if a chick is into you she's gonna be about what you're saying and this is what a lot of guys don't, don't understand a woman a woman when she's really feeling you she's going to do what you say and be cooperative and comply with what you're talking about yeah. so a lot of times so if I tell a girl hey I'm interested in hooking up with you and she's interested in hooking up with me because she's highly attracted to me, then it's going to happen. The problem is, is that a lot of guys run into women who aren't interested in them. So when they are direct with them, the women are like, oh, no, I'm not into that. What are you talking about? I'm not the type of girl, whatever, whatever. All that means is she's just not interested in you. If she was, she wouldn't be acting that mm-hmm. way. Yeah. So it, so it, there's no, there's a lot of guys are scared to be direct because they're scared of having rejection happen now. They want rejection to happen later. That's why yeah. dudes is, is indirect. They're like, well, let me like you know uh uh you know extend this out as much Put as off I can. the rejection exactly right yeah. almost like they if they stem it off a little bit it won't come at right. all right exactly kind of and this is the funny part it. when you're indirect usually who you attract are women who don't necessarily find you sexually appealing mm-hmm. so what happens is is that if if you're indirect and you're hanging out with a girl let's say you went on three or four dates and then it's been like a month and a half and you still ain't have sex with her the reason why is because she's not that interested in you, but she is interested in your the attention you're giving her. Yep. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. And then what happens is is that you either end up taking a long time to get sex or you don't get sex at all. That's yep. how all the friend zones happen. Yeah, exactly. That's how every friend zone happens. You just keep hanging out with her, giving mm. the attention. There's no sexual mm. like energy, mm. and it just slowly turns yeah. into like her texting you like, hey, do you want to see who my boyfriend got me? Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's a little much. Yeah, I think a big part of... Uh, 